I uh, played football in high school in Little Athens, Georgia. And uh, I was recruited by most all the colleges in the South. But the one school that wasn't recruiting me was my, my team right there in Athens, the University of Georgia Bulldogs, who I loved and adored. But they had had two great quarterbacks they drafted the year before. And they were really skilled. They were bigger, stronger than I, could throw better than I. But I didn't think they could play as good as I could. And they really didn't recruit me hard, but they had to sign me. Freshmen couldn't play football back then in the, in the varsity. We had to play in freshman games. So I didn't get my chance until my sophomore year. But in, in the spring practice for my sophomore year, my coach, Wally Bud, said, Fran, you're great, but we got these other two guys, Charlie Britton, Tommy Lewis, and they're going to play. We're going to redshirt you and give you an extra year of college. I said, no, sir, Coach Butts. I said, I'm, I'm going to graduate in four years. So if you want to use my services, and you should, because I can help you win, you better play me now. Oh, that's a great attitude. Come to, come to the fall. Now we're in August, right? And we're going to training camp, and I'm out there, and I've worked all summer. I've run the stadium steps, and I've thrown footballs by the thousands. I've got to get better. I've got to get smarter. I go, and I'm ready to go to training camp. And I blow these guys away, but he didn't see it. He's blinded because these are sophomores and juniors, and they were going to, you know, juniors and seniors, and they were more experienced and bigger, stronger, better than me, he thought. It's a week before the season, he says, we're going to redshirt you. I practiced with the varsity. I knew all the plays. We went to Austin, Texas to play the University of Texas under the lights. Can you imagine an 18-year-old kid under the lights, 70,000 people, the excitement, the thrills, and so forth. And I go out there, and I warm up, and I'm throwing the ball 80 yards down the field. It feels. I'm jumping this high off the ground. I've got about a nine-flat speed going for me. I am juiced without any juice. <laughs> and I, I go out, and I figure out, oh, my goodness, I'm not going to play. I stood on the sideline next to him. Everybody else sits on the bench. And I'm pulling at his coattail. I said, Coach Butts, Charlie Britt's getting tired out there. I said, you need to get me in there. And I'm, I'm just all game long. So now we get into the third quarter. We're behind seven to nothing. That's the good news. The bad news, we don't even have a first down in two and a half quarters. They're punting to our team. And they're punting. And my guy is fair catching on the five-yard line. And I look over the other quarterback, Charlie Britton, he's sitting on the bench. Never sit on the bench. He's sitting on the bench. People are going back and forth. I run onto the field. <laughs> I run onto the field. I get in the huddle, and the, and the guy said, what are you doing here? Later on, Charlie Britt said, I, he said, I, said, I thought Coach Butts put you in because you were standing next to him all the time, and I saw you run. I said, Charlie, most of my errors are errors of assumption. <laughs> Assume nothing, question everything. I get on the field, and we make a first down, and two first downs, and three first downs. We get to midfield, and I want to look over there so bad to Wally Butts, but I, I want to make it good enough alone, right? So I get on down the field. We get down, get down to the five-yard line. It's third and five. I say, boys, we got to make it here. If we don't make it here, man, it's going to be, I mean, I'm going to ride the train from Austin, Texas back to... So I, 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 I roll out. I was a mobile quarterback, as you might remember. I had good feet, and I could run a little bit. So I ran to the right, and I ran to the left, and I'm trying to buy time to get somebody open. And I, I finally went out to the left, and I see this wide receiver, 88, Aaron Box, and just before I was going out of bounds, just before I was going out of bounds, there's a little opening there, and I, I threw the ball in there. I went on the ground, and I could kind of see the, the little lines on the ball. I could read the Wilson on the ball. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Aaron Box catches it, and we are now 7-6. The kicker comes on the field, tie the game, and this was first year of a two-point conversion. I waved him off. I'm 18 years old. <laughs> I had a sense of desperation. I didn't know what it was, but I had a sense of desperation. He wasn't going to keep me on the bench, and I was going to win, right? I created that in my heart and soul. I waved him off, and... I look at the boys, I said, boys, if you don't really step up here, I'm really am going to be, not only am I going to be on the train, he's going to kick me off the team. <laughs> so I call a, another rollout, and I roll out to the right. And all of a sudden, the world opens up. Defensive back falls down, 
And the good news is I've got a receiver wide open in the end zone for the two-point conversion. He's a big old six-foot-four, 220-pound guy that ended up playing linebacker for the Washington Redskins. The reason he played linebacker instead of offensive receiver is because he had hands of stone. If you threw him 10 balls, he had dropped nine. He's my guy. He's the only thing I got. I thought right between the eight and the nine. Boom. And it went boom. I see it float out. I see him take that big old 6'4 frame body down on his knees, on his belly, and just before the ball hit the ground, he catches it. And we go ahead 8 to 7. I think about my life. If I don't create that sense of desperation and force myself onto the field and force that and then have, you know, all the background of work and preparation that made me succeed, if I don't do that, I may, and I'm serious, I may never have played college football again because these two guys had great talent. I may never have had a pro career, and I may not be standing up here talking to you people.